Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be having our very first look at the brand new Excalibur Arthur, who is a support character for mono human teams. And what have I just queued into here, man? We got like a Deldry, Ganon, Lost Fade team. Okay, dude, this is very, very weird. Um, What do I want to go for here? Do I just want to like Merc the Lost Fade? Uh, I think so. And then let's uh, let's go for like the Escanor cards here. We're not being uh, we're only being taunted by Galland uh, over here. So let's also go for the Arthur Cleave card as well. Because Arthur has the same um, uh, Cleave card as Lost Vein Meliodas. So it deals damage to all enemies and ignores defense as well. But Arthur's passive increases the damage dealt by human characters by uh, 20% and also increases their health by 30%. What? What the hell is this man running? <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. So yeah, I, uh, I I think his strategy was to try and protect like Lost Fade and Rush Alt there. Uh, so he's going for like uh, Galen now. You know, th this man is like a true memer, man. Um... Yeah, I, I'm like, I'm a little bit impressed right now. Well, this is kind of perfect for the showcase, because then we can just rush, um, uh, what is it, Arthur's ult. But with health food, man, this is the health of my human characters. So just to show you here. So Escanor, we got 180k. Might I remind you as well, this is ungeared. So yeah, that that's nuts, dude. That is absolutely wild. So yeah, I think we'll go for this as well. But yeah, I've 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 just got to respect this man, really. <laughs> this is the weirdest team I've ever seen, dude. This is like champion two as well. Uh, so yeah, I just I don't even know what to make of this man. Right, so we're having the the big taunt on Galland here. Uh, gets a little bit of health related stats, then smacks into Arthur. We got a strong damage reduction there. So yeah, we can just uh, we can get Merc in, and also just to show you Arthur's um. Uh, base stats here as well. Again, he's got about 151 uh, with health food and his passive as well. Uh, so yeah, overall, man, that's still pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, I think we go for this and then actually let's, uh, let's one tap, two tap, and then go for Arthur's ult, yeah, I reckon. And my Arthur is 4-6, uh, just to show you as well. But this should get Gallon down here. And you can see, even without the crits, man, the base damage on Roxy, she is slapping with this passive. And then hopefully we one-shot Deldry here. Oh my god, dude, that ultimate looks amazing. Oh, okay, that was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that's it for the, uh, the warm-up match. But let's see if we can find... Um, uh, our next opponent. All right, now next up, we got Salt Mode Melly Droll and Festival Zeldris here. So let's go for the merge on Arthur. This is actually definitely a player. Uh, and if you get the level two uh, Torn, it actually lasts for two turns as well. So I think we go for this initially. Um, and do you want to tr track out a card, just fill out evasion food here? I think maybe. So yeah, let's, let's just go for that on Arthur. And then hopefully next turn as well, uh, we can draw... Another Arthur card and Rush Alt here. So yeah, okay, we got another Taunt if needed, which is really nice. But the fact that his Taunt and level 2 loss are two turns, I think is really interesting. Again, I think like on a friggin' um, uh, what is it, Estorosa? Uh, Tarmiel team? Could be really, really good. So yeah, I think here it makes sense probably to rush Escanor's ult instead of... Um, uh, Arthur's here. The big mistake he made, and I, I'm not too sure why he didn't go for it, but he should have used the Zeldris um, uh, drain there. So yeah, that was a colossal mistake on my opponent's behalf. And the good thing is that um, unless he's got another taunt card, that AM melee is incredibly vulnerable. Did we just like straight up patience? Oh no no we didn't <laughs> we didn't patience man because there's no damage. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh let's fire that off. And then I think we'll also go for Um let's also just go for like another Arthur card as well, because we'll have the cleave. Actually, let's go for the uh the double cleave first here, and then we'll go for uh Escanor Zolti. And then I think there's a really good chance that we can deal some heavy echo damage um elsewhere here. Okay, nice, dude. That Roxy card was hitting, man. So, yeah, we got Escanor Zolt here. 
and that should take out either Droll or Zeldris. Very, very nice. <laughs> so yeah, we destroyed that man. If he had Chandler, that might have been a little bit of a different story. But also, he would not have had the um, ult control. But again, the big mistake he made there uh, was not going for the Zeldris drain early on. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to our next opponent. All right, now next up, we got a Glue Eater team here. So we got the one Escanor, Liz, Gotha. Uh, so this is always a bit of a pain to deal with here, and it's definitely a player as well. So yeah, I'm just trying to think of the first turn play. Um, he's not gonna have, like, too much burst initially if we, like, start hacking down the Escanor. So yeah, I think we go for this, this, and, um, this as well. And there's probably a pretty good chance we can trigger, uh, the cheat death here. We could guarantee trigger the cheat death if we nuked into Liz, but I thought, like, hacking down Escanor was definitely the best play because then it reduces that flood card damage. So, yeah, he's not going to be anywhere near as uh, threatening next turn. I don't think he's got, like, any play to kill any of the characters with the health pool that we have um, uh, thanks to Arthur's passive. So, I think his best play is to go for something a bit more controlling here. So, that's why I didn't use the taunt first turn. So yeah, then we can use um, Arthur's Taunt, and then, uh, or we can just like go all in to Escanor here. I think actually going all in to Escanor like makes the most sense here. So yeah, I think we go for that. So let's uh, maybe go for this, and then this as well. And this this should be plenty of damage here. And then we save the Escanor cards to um. Uh, burst down the Lost Vein at the back. So yeah, I think that's the best play. Get a nice cleave again. Arthur really isn't uh, much of a, uh, what is it, insane performing character himself. The value is in the fact that he can taunt up, he can take the pressure off your stupidly overpowered human characters. While also, um, uh, yeah, meaning if they single target the one or Roxy, they are just going to have such an impossible time trying to kill them. Unless they've got, like, crazy draw and also a lot of luck as well. Hmm. Okay, here, I, th I think we just, like, murk in and see if we can, like, smash through that, um... Lost Fane? I think we should be able to break shield here, based off the damage that I've seen. Uh, I don't think it was an upgraded one as well, so yeah, we should be fine. We'll go for this just in case. But if Alpha can break the shield here... Then I don't need to worry. Uh, oh, nice. That was perfect, dude. That was really, really good. Then, yeah, we can just crit the Lost Vein, smash in. And as soon as Lost Vein's down, then he's kind of lost his win condition. Because with this uh, health buff, again, there's no way that he can win the match with Gotha now. Because he needs to, like, cycle uh, a couple of Gotha ults. And by the time he's done that, then, yeah, like, I think we're just chilling, man. And we can also, again, go for Arthur's uh, damage reduction as well to... Um, uh, survive Gotha's ult. So yeah, we just need to like wait for a good time to kind of snipe in and uh, just kind of tank up here from now. But again, the one Escanor, um, like this is this is close to his peak. I should have looked at the stats on his peak. Uh, but this is uh, yeah, two buffs, man, 180k. But a peak, dude. <laughs> it's probably closer to about 190k there, which is really really nice. And let's go for this. And uh, I think I'm just gonna merge on Roxy again. It doesn't really matter here. Gonna get ult drained, but unless I'm confident one shotting again, the damage reflect is gonna be crazy. Uh, but now we got the two turn taunt on Arthur. I guess Arthur can be uh, stance removed here, but it doesn't look like he's gonna go for that play. He's probably gonna go for the play of drain ult and then either shield up um, or pumpkin bombs, I would assume. So yeah, again, that barely touched the sides there, man. Right, so he does have, have the stance removal. Again, slightly unfortunate thing. But again, it prevents, like, Roxy and Escanor from being stunned. And that is a really, really big thing. So, yeah, let's uh, just move around the Roxy cards here, I think. And then we can uh, get Roxy's ult. Again, that puts pressure then to control Roxy. And takes pressure uh, off of the one Escanor. And then we can, like, either... Yeah, I think we just double Escanor card next turn. Unless he's got stuns for everyone, man. Oh, my God. Does he have stuns for everyone? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so he's going for Liz's ult here. Interesting. So, yeah, we just... At this point, we just, like, want to rush um, Escanor's ult as well. Because, yeah, with the shield, we can't quite clap in there. 
But now, now we're in like a, a good scenario where we can probably one-shot that Liz uh, next turn. So yeah, I, I, th I think we can do it, man. I think we can do it. We, we just need to crit, right? Even if we don't crit, like, it should be fine. <laughs> this this man is really, uh, really keen on playing this one out. So yeah, if we go for the move here, and then I'm just gonna, like, move here as well. So as long as we one-shot Liz here, dude, we chill in. And we should be fine again. We got 20% bonus damage from, um... Uh, Arthur's passive, so easy one shot there. Uh, Escanor debuff immune, so no pumpkin bombs we have to worry about. I mean, you know, he had to use them last turn anyway if he wanted to roll back. But yeah, again, we kind of just like ramped up the pressure there. And even like if he did have like another roll here again, we'd still be uh, fine in terms of surviving. And that's kind of the choice you have with this team as well. You can even have like Death Pierce on the back and go for, which we do have currently, uh, and go for. Um, more uh, crits, more crit damage, or you can go for Gil Thunder and be like even more tanky. Um, and that, that might be the call in some scenarios, man. So yeah, this, this should be fine, I think, here. So yeah, we'll go for it, man. We'll go for it. Um, I, I'm a little bit nervous about this play for some reason. I think we'll also just move around after cards. We should be alright. There have been times in like... Um, Oh, no, dude. It's going to get reflected off us here. No, we got wrecked, bro. We got absolutely wrecked. Yeah, I was going to say, there have been times where I've gone for a send like that. Um, we just got massively punished. But here, what we need to do is rush uh, rush Arthur's ult. And now he doesn't have the damage reflect active. So, yeah, if I'd been a little bit more patient there, it would have been all right. But, oh, my God, dude. I got punished there. <laughs> Uh, but now now we can like start going for a decent damage play here next turn. I think we move around Arthur's card. Uh, get that old gauge up a little bit. Um, he is going to be drained uh, a couple regardless. But I think this is still the right play to go for for the draw here. Again, now he doesn't have Goddess Lizard's shield, dude. <laughs> we should be fine. <laughs> but yeah, that was just that was unlucky, man. I should have probably gone for like rushing Arthur's ulti instead. Because, yeah, Arthur's ulti with a detonate damage would have been uh, would have been good there. But fair play to my opponent, you know. He, he he wanted to try and play it out. It almost worked. I mean, it's technically it's not over, so it still could work. But I'm feeling pretty good about next turn now because we've got three silver uh, Roxy cards. So, yeah, we should be all right. I think he's having a bit of a think about what to do. It depends, like, if he's got a merger here and I can't kill. And yeah, might be in a little bit of trouble, but nah, it looks like he's just got pumpkin bombs. But, uh, let's, let's go for, let's go for this and hopefully we can finish off the match here. But yeah, this was, uh, <laughs> a little bit grindy toward the end. But again, as long as you put that pressure on taking care of, like, the Lost Fane, the Escanor... Again, still worked out, like, super, super nicely there. Uh, so, yeah, that was a, a great match. But anyway, let's move on and see if we can find one final opponent. All right, hopefully we got a final opponent here, dude. Final boss Melascula costume looking good, bro. Looking very, very good. You know, I've, I've got to respect my opponent already for that. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like we've uh, definitely got a player here, man. So, I think we'll go for the merger on Arthur. I'm assuming there's a high chance of evasion food here. So I think we go for that, and for now I'm just going to move this uh, card around, just so we can guarantee that we get um, uh, Arthur's ult. But yeah, there's no evasion food here. Okay, this is going to be an interesting test. Oh my god, dude, that's fantastic draw there. I think we can get both uh, Escanor and Arthur's ult next turn. So yeah, that's uh, that's really really good. Again, this is where the boy AM Melly sometimes struggles. Uh, is alt control so this is yeah perfect scenario here but i think what we go for is let's go for the the tour and get this up uh just so there are no like big plays next turn i guess we can still um yeah i, I think we go for it anyway man like uh one annoying thing he potentially can do uh thinking about it next turn is just like petrify arthur but at the same time, um, he's still going to have to deal with the ultimate, the one Escanor. So yeah, it depends what he's got access to. His best play here is probably to merge a Droll card into a Petrify if he's got it. 
uh, but he doesn't have it, so that's really good news. So what we can do here is fire this off. This will trigger the cheat death on um, a Droll there and use Arthur's ulti on uh, Melly and then just like send the gold card. If we're really lucky, we wipe everything apart from Droll, who's on one health, I think here. Yeah. So yeah, let's check that out, 130k. Uh, and again, Arthur's got a really good ultimate that deals um, uh, additional damage based on uh, how high the opponent's ult gauge is as well. <laughs> So yeah, that was a sick play, man. That worked out really, really well. But again, we did get we did get a little bit lucky with the draw in that match. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think the new Arthur is a, uh, a very interesting character. I think he does have a, um, a lot of potential for human teams and setups, both in PvE and also PvP. I think maybe like the green one's still a little bit better, generally speaking, for PvE. But it also like depends on what you need, because this one is more tanky. Um, and also, again, that two-turn taunt with damage reduction is mad clutch, dude. It's really, really nice. But, uh, yeah, I think he's, like, for a step-up uh, 242 gem character, again, like, he's, he's certainly not a bad one, in my opinion. But I'm also curious to see, um, uh, you know, what kind of interesting teams and setups do get used moving forward. Because, again, depending on the human characters that come in, uh, he has a lot more potential. Because he's always going to be able to take off attention from, uh, like, high DPS human characters. And just give them more, like, survivability. It means, like, you know, going straight into the match, dude, you want to burst down 180k Escanor in ungeared PvP? <laughs> he's just, that's just mad, bro. That's just absolutely mad. But, yeah, I think even, like, health or evasion food is the, um... Uh, the play to go for with this team, man. I kind of like health just because it makes everybody like ridiculously tanky. Uh, but yeah, overall, man, I, I think he's a cool character. I think he's got some interesting potential moving forward. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on Excalibur Arthur. Are you impressed? Are you not impressed? Uh, yeah, let me know what you're thinking. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's video, please do smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the Whales sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.